first of all, I want to say that no homemade binder is going to be completely safe. However, however, I found one that worked for me and I have pretty big badonkadonks. Um, and it, um, I don't know, it just wasn't horrible. It, it didn't hurt, it wasn't uncomfortable, it wasn't really that unsafe. Um, I don't think it was unsafe at all, to be honest. Um, it could be depending on your body type, though. So take what I say with a grain of salt. So without further ado, we're gonna talk about making a safe binder. Now, I don't have the supplies <laughs> to show you exactly how to do it, but I think that I can describe how to make it enough to where it'll make sense. And I also have a TikTok video on my TikTok um, that will explain it better. Um, if you just search Robin Mallory art, it's actually, I think the first video that pops up because it was like my most viewed one. So you should be able to find it. It was a duet with someone making fun of a five minute craft. And I said, this is actually how I made my first binder. And people were like, what does that work? And I'm finally making a video about it like literally a year later. It's fine. So what I did was I took a pair of leggings. Um, you'll probably want them like maybe one size smaller because the waistband, um, whatever the waistband is, needs to go, you know, under, you know, under, you know. So that's kind of mainly what keeps it flat. So what I did was you cut off, um, you kind of turn the pants upside down or the leggings or whatever. You cut a hole for your head, right? And then you cut off the the arm, whatever, the, the sleeves to whatever you want to be. That's literally it. Like that's all you have to do. And what you do is you put your head through the head hole. The, um, the elastic goes around underneath. Um, and it, it genuinely compresses pretty well, actually. Um, and then you have sleeves or whatever. It can just look like a shirt if you want it to. Um, if you want to get really crafty, you can like sew up the sleeves so it looks like an actual shirt. You can go under something. Um, you could probably wear it like a crop top if you wanted. I think that's what the five minute crafts was. Um, yeah. Um, one thing for me, it didn't flatten my chest completely. It worked for a lot of people in the comment section. I think I got several hundred comments. A lot of people were like, oh my god, this is amazing. It works perfectly. A lot of people said it didn't work at all. Um, they didn't think it would work for their body size or they didn't want to risk a pair of leggings for that. And that's perfectly fine. I just wanted to tell you guys how it worked for me. I would wear that and then I would wear sort of a tight fitting shirt over that. Um, to kind of help, you know, make it look flat. And then I'd wear kind of a looser shirt on top of that. So it's kind of like three layers, but I mean, with a regular binder, you're already wearing two layers anyway, so it's not that much different. Um, so yeah, it's, I would use the, the legging thing to, um, to kind of like keep it together. And then a tight fitting shirt over it. And what it does, the difference between that and like a sports bra or something is that it's keeping it together while keeping it sort of loose. So that's why when you put your, your tight fitting shirt over it, it actually does flatten it. And then after that, you just put a slightly looser shirt on over that and it looks pretty darn flat. It's kind of surprising actually that a pair of leggings can do that. So I'm hoping that might help you guys until you're able to get a proper binder. I recommend Underworks or GC2B. Um, those are like the best ones. I will probably link them in the description if I remember to when I put the description in this video. Um, but yeah, that's about it. I know this is a short video. Um, I know there's trans tape. Um, that probably won't work for someone um, that has a larger chest like myself, but you can always take the trans tape and pull it to the side. Um, I know that the athletic tape usually does about the same thing, except it, you need to put, if you use like the, the athletic tape, you will need to put something over your nipples. Please do not rip your nipples off. 
don't ask how I know. Like, just please, like, make a square of toilet paper or something, just something really soft, but right over your nip nips. Please. Please, dear God. Please. Um, what else? There are other things you can do. Never use ace bandages because they're meant to constrict the more.